Hi guys, it's been a challenging 24 hours and um, I want to offer an overview on the current status and the next steps. Um, an overview on um, what happened and what we're doing to, to move forward with everything. The most important part is that um, after 24 hours with maximum pain, maximum pressure and um, all hands on deck. Uh, we can say that the funds are safe, um, that the problem has been identified, a solution has been deployed, and a recovery plan is complete in place. And um, we're ready to resume key modules and uh, move forward. All this in record time. And um, this is uh, what we are happy to report on. The key basic idea to understand is that um, challenges will, of course, inevitably come. Um, and the only thing that we can choose is how we respond. Um, will we survive? Will we learn? Will we improve all these things? And um, this has been our, our um, thought process during the, the entire 24, 48 hours. Um, let me go very briefly on the different stages that we went through um, and how they unfolded. Um, of course, it's, it's um, 1 a.m. in the morning, I'm traveling outside the country, I reach the hotel and go through some updates in preparation to, to go to bed. Um, 2 a.m. comes and I receive a call from the team that some strange activities um, are happening on the Meyer decks. Of course, um, that's the point where we start to gather three, five team members, join a call, and uh, we want to validate, verify um, if these are normal activities, is, if everything is working as expected, or if there's a deeper problem there. Um, as we research this part, uh, we discovered that there's indeed a potential bug, critical bug, that could affect um, the, the entire process of the DEX could affect the users and, and so forth. And at that point, um, with the team, we discuss specifically the process of initiating um, a state of emergency. What this actually means is that um, at, at around 3 a.m. in the morning, we wake up um, a larger part of the team. We start researching um, and verifying what the implications of the bug are um, and how we can limit them. Um, and how we can stop them because um, our foremost priority is making sure that the funds are safe, that users are safe and that um, as we solve this problem we can resume activities and move forward in a way that um, users are basically not affected at all. Um, we, we initiate state of the emergency, we stop two core activities, the Meyer Dex and key APIs, all this with the knowledge that if we don't stop them, the exploit could affect a large number of users. And this is the most important thing that we want to prevent. Um, we do this, of course, the night passes um, and we clarify a few things. One, what are the order of priorities in a state of emergency? What are the most important things that we have to focus on um, as a crisis like this emerges. And our priorities are this. First and foremost, understand what the problem is. Um, limit its damage and ensure user and fund safety. This is our foremost priority and this will always try to optimize for. The second priority is defining a solution. Once we've understood the problem, how can we solve the problem in such a way that the same attacks cannot apply anymore, that things become safe and that we can move forward? Um, and with the solution, de defining a recovery plan through which we can resume all key activities and proceed with the entire um, ecosystem progress. The third, um, uh, the third priority is actually proceeding according to plan, resuming key modules, making sure that the problem is solved, and then as the plan is properly executed, um, just 
uh, moving forward with the entire progress as mentioned before. This is the overview of everything we've done. Now, the most important part that you're probably interested in is what's the current status? What are the next steps? Uh, the current status is the, this. Um, a bug has been discovered. This has been a protocol bug, a critical bug that we've um, limited, that we've now solved, for which we've deployed a new mainnet launch, uh, mainnet release, um, and uh, actually one has been deployed during that um, uh, very morning, uh, yesterday morning, and another release has been, been deployed yesterday evening. So two mainnet releases have been deployed specifically to isolate and solve this um, bug and make sure that it cannot be um, exploited and um, used in the future. Um, the second part is, of course, um, the part where we focused on uh, making sure that all funds um, and balances are checked and verified, that we see what the exploit has done, that we see if there are some consequences and we make sure we can um, recover everything and prepare everything to be ready for um, a situation where the entire process and interactivity resume. What we can say is that we've recovered already 95% of the fund and are making sure that as we prepare to start the uh, Meyer Dex and the other key modules, um, funds will be available to users in full. Um, whatever is missing will be covered by the Elrom Foundation and we're already uh, proceeding with this um, according to plan. Um, the last and most important point is we've solved the bug. We've recovered um, and, and made sure that we understood the effects and consequences. And now we have a very proper um, plan in place to resume everything and continue with the next steps. This is extremely important. And um, at this point, it seems like um, the main upgrade is done. And during today, the Myrdex will be re um, the Myrdex will be resumed. Key APIs will be resumed so that all products um, are working as expected. During the entire process, at no point has the blockchain been halted. So at every point, it has worked and and um, so forth. And uh, we're now ready to not only resume the Myrdex but make sure that utmost security is in place so that as we move forward with the new products, um, we, can, we can be um, sure that things are safe, that we can further build on, on these products um, and expand the ecosystem. The swiftness and the decisive response is the one thing that has enabled us to have this conversation. All this in 24 hours. Um, and um, I want to transition to the last point, uh, which is just going through five questions um, that the community might have and that we want to briefly touch on. What did actually happen? Um, you've heard the overview, uh, but maybe it's not clear exactly what happened. What happened was we've discovered a protocol bug that was exploited and that affected several users. As we discovered this, we've halted some key modules like the Myrdex and the APIs in order to prevent any kind of bad effects affecting users. This we've done with utmost swiftness and understanding the potential implications. Now, a solution has been deployed, the bugs are fixed, um, and we're um, at the point where funds are ready in full for all users to, be, to um, access them and to use them. Um, this is extremely important that both the solution is done and the funds are there, and we have a plan to resume the, the entire process of key activities. This is how we move forward in a, in a thoughtful and effective way. Question number two, are there any funds lost? I can say with clear certainty that 95% um, of the funds have been already recovered 
um, during the first 24 hours. Of course, you can assume that we are in discussions with all exchanges, law enforcement um, agencies, um, and users from um, the community. Um, there, there are um, a lot of discussions during this type of situations. Um, we very much appreciate the support and the feedback. Um, the most important point is funds are ready in full. Um, they will be accessed by the users and um, we are finally ready to proceed with um, all, the, all the activities. Question number three, what's the uh, schedule to resume the activities for the MyRDEX and um, everything? The most important part is, um, as I said, the mainnet release has been already done. Um, and during today, the MyRDEX will go through the process of um, being resumed with all key other products and modules ready to be resumed as well. Um, so if everything works well, by the end of the day, we have both the new, new version um, of the MyRDEX um, and the entire solution for any bug um, being ready and usable so that the entire community can proceed with using the products um, and moving forward. Question number four, um, how will you handle eGold arbitration price as the MyRDEX starts? Well, we've prepared a um, very specific me mechanism of um, restarting the MyRDAX, where at first the MyRDAX will enter a safe mode where swaps are not available to anyone in the community, but only to the protocol. Um, this idea makes sure that as the DEX resumes during the safe mode um, phase, the price will calibrate to match the price of eGold on Binance, such that when it will open swaps for the entire community, it will match already the um, uh, price on Binance. This will make sure that everything is simple, clear and smooth on the exchange and uh, swaps will be enabled for the entire community. Question number five, um, do we have a more technical explanation of the entire bug? Um, You've, you've already um, heard that there's a different explanation within the community covering the technical part. Uh, what we wanted to make sure is first ensure security, deploy the solution, um, make sure that everything is available again, and then do a proper um, explanation um, in written form that will cover uh, all the technical details and will um, also cover the solutions and how we've overcome the entire process. This is the order of, of priorities that we've looked at um, and that we believe are most effective in securing the situation, ensuring that uh, we limit any type of damage, ensuring that um, users and funds are safe, um, ensuring that we can restore activities with um, utmost speed, and ensuring that there's further progress as we move forward and go past this uh, particular problem. So um, the conclusion uh, would be uh, precisely what I've started with. In 24 hours with maximum pressure and maximum pain, we've discovered a protocol bug, um, discovered an exploit, managed to secure all funds um, and prepare them for uh, the new release, solve the problem, uh, deploy several fixes, and now we are ready to uh, resume activities with the MyRDEX and the other products and uh, move forward. You can basically assume that this type of crisis uh, will, will come to all blockchains and probably all dApps. And the only thing um, that, that uh, we want to think around is how we can make the process of respond, responding to this type of challenges more effective, more focused, and ensuring that at the end of the day, even though we go through very, very hard times, um, users are safe, funds are safe, the protocol is working as expected, um, products are working as expected, 
and uh, we pass this storm and move forward to the next steps. The, the closing point is this, the upgrades are now ready, um, the recovery plan is ready, whatever comes, um, Elrond will continue to move forward. One way or another, we'll find solutions to whatever comes. Once the current solutions are live, the Mardex is live, uh, we will be ready to proceed with the other exciting and, and interesting updates. Thank you for the support and um, take care.